Welcome! This video will be covering how to install a Flowcon PICV insert into a valve body within a live system after flushing with a blank cap or replacing an already installed PICV insert. Firstly, identify the insert size required for the green PICV. Now, identify the type of insert. There are five 20mm insert options available. There are two 40mm insert options available. Let's consider a fan coil application. Before any work is undertaken, the PICV needs to be isolated. This can be achieved by isolating the flow and return of the two flushing bypass valves. Note the handle positions when the PICV is isolated. As a precaution, check that the PICV is isolated by loosening the cap or insert by slightly turning in an anti-clockwise direction without removing the blank cap or insert. After confirming that the PICV is isolated, the cap or insert can now be fully removed. The insert can now be installed. Gently fit the insert into the body. The insert can now be screwed into place by turning clockwise by hand to avoid cross-threading. A socket or spanner can now be used to screw the insert fully in. Once the insert flange comes in contact with the PICV body, the process is complete and will seal perfectly. Do not over tighten the insert. Confirm that the system operating pressure does not exceed the rating of the valve. To avoid damage to the insert diaphragm, it is important to equalize the pressure across the PICV by slowly cracking the return isolating valve. After two to three seconds, the return isolating valve followed by the flow isolating valve can be fully opened. The PICV insert is now installed safely and the flow and return valves can be opened and closed without risk of damage. We hope you found this helpful. Make sure to check out our other videos for more helpful tips, innovative solutions for hydronic systems and building services. Flow control.